morning everybody welcome back today I'd like to share the latest journal that I've uh, completed and this is a altered envelope style journal you've seen me do these in the past uh, just I've got a sorry silk closure on this one and this is just multiple layers of old doilies and um, this beautiful embroidered rose I've named this one wandering rose um, it just I don't know, it seems like it was a wandering rose to me. It's got, um, I love the little blue, and then this is like a coral. I don't know if that'll show up on camera as coral, but it's just such a pretty little piece, and I wanted to have that on the cover. So inside, as I said, this is um, altered in envelope style. Inside we've got um, various papers and collages and tags and stamped journal cards, a little tuck space here, some lace, I've got a belly band here that has a little envelope with a card stamped in that. Um, done some stenciling in this journal and some stamping made this flower with the old button there. Uh, some Edith Holden pages, got some collaging. This is some paper ruffle that I made with the scraps that were left over. Just a real mix of um, collections that I had in my stash. So, this opens up, got some stenciling there. And then here, got another little envelope with a oh yeah this one I have not glued and I've got two little cards tucked inside of this so pretty some collaging there here I've done a little flip out with the tuck spot here and then this is one of the Tim Holtz um, slotted stitch dies that I've just tucked various little tags that I've made in here and in the back there's a large pocket with a, a tag old German book page and then here another double pocket with handmade tag and just a little embellishment. You could add this to the page, but I've just tucked it in there so it could be used in another project if if the um, owner of this chooses to do so. Some little flips here. Another little journaling card. Several little tags and tucked in this one old ledger paper here and then this is a little <coughs> excuse me a little double pocket I created I've just got little um, tags and things I made these in a tutorial um, I should mention I had a question this is double pocket as you can see I had a question recently about my um, YouTube channel, and I just want to um, explain. I am transitioning over to Rumble. Um, it's another platform similar to YouTube, but you're not censored on uh, Rumble. But it's uh, taking a, quite a while for me to get things loaded up there. So some of my videos are not visible on YouTube now. So. I hope that answers any questions if anybody's been looking for specific videos. Um, as I said, this is this transition's probably going to take me several months to do, but I will eventually um, move completely over to Rumble. So if you're interested in checking that out, and also Parlor. Parlor is the uh, alternative to Facebook. So if any of you are interested in those, um, you can find me there as the Firefly Studio 67. A little collage there, as I said, stenciling. A little 
double pocket here. This is a little journal card that I've stenciled with modeling paste on. Got some tiny little hearts in the center of the signature. And this is another little envelope. There's nothing in it, but I've just tucked that in. A lot of writing space in this, as you can see, and there's room. You could add more, but um, I don't like to overfill my journals because I want to leave room for the person who's journaling to be able to add things. This, I did a tutorial on these as well, uh, little snippets. I love how that's come out. Old uh, grid paper. This is vintage. And then an altered uh, paper clip with just a couple of tags behind there. And on the back, this is another little digital music sheet that I've done some stenciling on. And then this is a um, glassine bag. I've, again, another journal card that I've done some stenciling on. of my altered index fabric postcards that's tucked up under here and some more little flips it's one signature but again there's a lot of pages in this and I don't know off the top of my head how many um, and this was a vintage little tag it had been written on so I tucked that in there but the, that will be, uh, the page count will be in the description in my shop this is stamped bingo card and this is old music sheet uh, that I've made into a pocket uh, this was a tutorial I did for my patrons on how to do these window um, and glassine um, papers. So if you're not familiar with my patron channel, the link is in the description box below and that'll take you over and you can, you can find out what level um, you'd like to join. And this is a little altered mini file folder. I love that. Just a note. With some stamping there. So very much, I guess, uh, spring-like. <laughs> As we're in the uh, starts of winter, you know I'm always a season or two off from what everybody else is doing at the time. I, I don't know what it is about me. I'm never quite in line with what everybody else is doing. Everybody's doing Christmas journals now, and I've like done that in August, and I've moved on now. I, now I'm thinking spring, <laughs> and this is a little, um, just a little altered um, scrap of leftover um, index card that I had. Got a little button there. So here you've got a big pocket on the back. You can add some more items to. So as I said, it's still uh, pretty chunky. Now this is one of my smaller ones. Let me get it tied up, and then we'll, well it measures about a five by six and three quarter actually about four and a half by six and three quarter yeah so it's uh, I love these little journals they just fit beautifully in your hand and they they lay nice and flat so that you can do your writing so if you're interested guys the wandering rose is going to be in my shop for sale and um, I hope everybody is safe and well and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.